There, there was no like nice, easy transition. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's do that again. Uh, maybe. Hold on. There we go. Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. And great, I've got. Uh, there we go. Little box up there in the top right hand side. So, how have you been? Um, I know that yesterday's video I did a little bit of trolling, but um, when we last left off, I was inside Lumber all by myself and we had a really bad bug. So instead of making you sit through all of that again, I'm gonna go up there, chop some trees, grab them, and I'm gonna start on my way back down and we'll just continue where we left off, okay? Here we go. Okay, so I am back. Um, I just collected a bunch of trunks, as you can see. I left a bunch of trees in my wake. <laughs> so, um, the area I want to try and get down to is down here, but instead of me messing it up this time, I think I'm going to take a run and try and get past the little gap. So, um, let's do this. This is gonna be a little difficult, just because I've never done it in reverse before. Oh, 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 come on, stay on, stay on the track, stay on the track, stay on the track. There we go, there we go, there we go, good, 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 good. I've never gone down backwards through, uh, through this thing. If we do fall off the track down there, that's not too bad because it'll be, uh, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. But, like I said, I've never done this backwards before. Oh gosh. Oh man. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh man. Okay, that's fine. This is this is better. This is this is okay. This is good. So uh, what should we talk about? Oh, uh let's talk about um my lunch that I had today. Everybody's like, why, why are we talking about your lunch? Well, because uh, my boss took me out for my 10-year anniversary for working for the company. That's right. I have been with this company, um, and I won't say the company name or anything like that because I, I don't know if they want me to mention it or not, which would probably be like free advertising, but um, they're, they're not like that. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not going to mention the, the name of the company, but uh, I do want to say that it's a great company to work for. I've been with them for 10 years, and I just absolutely loved it. So they took me out for uh, sushi, and I got to have sushimi, and uh, we they gave me a plaque, uh, a 10-year plaque that came with it. And it comes with a little uh, lapel pin that has like a little red diamond on it, or it's a, it's a red ruby. Oh, it was really cool. Anyhow, ten years, ten years. Wow, that is a that is a long time. That's almost a decade. Just kidding, it, it, it's a decade. <laughs> but thinking about it, like you spend twelve. 13 years in school, right? So in two more years, and I will have been with this company the same amount of time that people go to school. Well, minus college. And if you're going to school now, I highly recommend if you've not made plans, go make plans to uh, go to college. Oh gosh, what's going on here? I need to move that, that's what's going on. So let's go right down here. Oh, am I not going to be able to, uh... <gasps> no! Come on, come on! Can I lift it from here? Oh no, I'm stuck! Oh, does that mean I've got to move all this stuff again? Hold on, can I just push... Can we push our way through? Whoa, 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 I'm stuck. Okay. Hmm. Well. I guess I could chop it and try something like that, but that's that's not what I want to do. Uh, let's do a floor. Okay. Okay. Or a, a tile. 
tiny towel. If I can get the tiny towel down there, do a rotate. There we go. Got it. Okay. Oh, thank goodness for glitches. Tons of glitches all over the place. Okay, did we leave any behind? No log left behind. Anyhow, it was a really good lunch. And I really enjoy the company that I work for. And hopefully I'm there for another 10 years. You know? Doing video games and, and YouTube videos and, and learning everything that I can about all the aspects of computer programming, 3D development. Just having fun. Doing what I enjoy. And that's... That's programming, coding. Um, if you've not seen my tutorial videos, like on how to program Roblox games and stuff like that, if this is your first video that you've ever seen of me, comment down below, first of all. But second, I do a lot more content. I also do Jailbreak. I also do um, how to program video games. I, I do an entire series called Lamag, Let's Make a Game. And basically just teach you how to program teach you what I know and I've written a book so there's been a lot of accomplishments yet I can have that one day where I feel like I've not done anything now I know a lot of you are thinking code look out you're not paying attention there's bricks in the way well yeah that's that's true but I did a little thing Blink. I did a thing before I came over. Yeah, I picked up some uh, some TNT. So, we'll just set off the TNT like that. And... Kabushki! Boom. Just like that. Uh-oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. No more glitching. <sighs> I've noticed since playing in non-public servers, and me and Jack both talked about this last night. Playing in uh, private servers, I've noticed that my money supply <laughs> is not quite as full as it normally is. And that's because I don't have a bunch of people giving me money or giving me things. Which is, it's good. It's, it's good for me to, to learn and to grow from that, but at the same time I'm like, aww. I, I miss having a bunch of fans around to keep me topped up at 20 million. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta go change this, don't I? Yeah, we gotta change this up to... Large. Would you like a large, sir? Wait. I know that can go up higher, right? Or is a 3 by 2 all it can do? That's all it can do, isn't it? Oh no! Well, we'll need to go sell this off too. So. Hopefully all these will fit. I didn't even think about that not being big enough to fit them. Come on, come on. There we go. Alright. If I get lined up like this, then all I have to do is grab and put. Grab. Put. Grab. Put. Weren't we going to make a little machine that, like, threw the wood down there? Isn't that what we were going to do? At one time or another? I think so. I'll have to, I'll have to make that. I'll make this one do that. Where it will be an ice slide. And if you have ice bricks or if you have regular wood, you send it down or like you send it through a conveyor belt and then it runs down the slide and launches itself over towards the Woods R Us. That way, all you have to do is put the wood through and it's basically right there to be sold. Of course, you have to have a conveyor belt where you could switch directions for it because that would be funny. All the wood automatically just is launching into the uh, Woods R Us place. Uh, I had a comment about me talking with Tom the other day, and 
you absolutely enjoyed the conversation we were having. <laughs> so, thank you. I don't know if it takes a, a sane person or an insane person to uh, talk to themselves in conversation with two or more people that don't exist. <laughs> Probably, probably insane. It's probably, probably a requirement. Oh, did that one not go through? Please process. Thank you. There we go. Probably a lag spike. Um, for those of you wondering, this is the quickest way to make money. <clears throat> it's a lot easier when you can drive all the way up and all the way back down. So practice, practice, practice. Get your practice in. Um math in school there's a lot of people who don't like math or they think that math is too hard and they feel dumb when they can't figure out equations you're not dumb okay you are extremely bright you're very bright every single person who is watching right now you watching this video right now you're smart you're extremely smart in fact, you're smarter than any computer. Do you know why? Because you have intuition and you have problem solving and you have these things that a computer as of right now cannot replicate. Like we're, we're close, but uh, a computer doesn't improvise. It, does, it doesn't have anything that wasn't pre-programmed for it to have. Now we're getting really close with um, cloud computing and with artificial intelligence. Um, but it's all coming from data that we already have. You know, you are able to learn something brand new and take that brand new thing and apply it. Like it doesn't have to be taught to you. You can, you can learn new things without someone teaching you. And that's the beauty of the human brain. That's the beauty of you. That's why you're smarter. So when it comes to math, if you just aren't getting it, it's only because you don't have the instructions or you don't you don't know uh, the formula. That's it. That's the only thing holding you back. And it is fairly easy to memorize formulas and circumference, radius, pi, 3.14, stuff like that. And with practice, like any good video game, you'll get better. If you're if you're in the younger grades right now and you're struggling with math, just remember you're noobs. You are noobs. How much was that? 21,000. 21? There we go. Sorry, dead meme, dead meme. Oh, what shall we do with the remainder of our 15 minutes? Shall we go to... Oh, no, it's nighttime. Well, poop. It doesn't work. Um, should we go... I want to go get those other blueprints, but we don't have... Uh, we don't have... area for it. Or we, we, we don't have uh, daylight for it. So, let's go in here. Hi, Reuven. Hello, Code. Could I purchase some more land, please? More land? Didn't I just sell you some the other day? I did, uh, but I'd like to expand it if you could. Okay, okay, just tell me which side. Well, I like the the south side. That's that's a good area. Let's let's go ahead and extend out there. You got it, buddy. It's gonna cost you nine thousand though. You'll go okay with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're good on nine thousand. Thank you. All right, you're all set. Thanks, Reuben. Appreciate it. See you, Code. See you, Reuben. So now we're all set to go up here. Whoa, what's the next tree that we need? The next tree in order is is birch. That's the next tree that you get. So let's go ahead and set this all up. We're going to make this one into birch. Two, three, four. Thirteen, fourteen, 
15 without thinking about it can you tell me how many blocks we're going to be putting down it's uh 25 because we have a five by five 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 there we go. So, oh, this is this is cherry wood. Oh, we we need birch. We need birch. Birch trees. And since we have the power to build, a lot of you were asking, dude, how are you building with one unit? It's the the golden blueprints. You can get the power from the strange man, and if you don't know how to get to the strange man, Google code primate strange man, or Google code primate the power. The power to build, the power of ease, the ease of power, the ease of build. Something like that. Something along those lines and you'll find it. Uh, are there? There's Birch. That's what I was looking for. Hello, Birch. Hello, Birch tree. Birch, Birch, Birch. Boop, 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 boom. Now I was thinking about trying to implement the uh, birch wood into the speed runs, but it's really not feasible for what we try or what we what we're trying to do. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but in a speed run situation, you want to get money as fast as possible and keep boots on the ground as least as possible. Whoa! Oh, that was a big fall. Skills. Skills. Okay. Oh. So, earlier today I recorded an entire hour-long video on uh, programming and development and stuff like that, and I went really fast. And I think... I may have tuckered myself out. Uh, I am tired from that video. Which I should be, you know? That was a that was a good video. That was a good video. What a good video. Did you remember to like, comment, and subscribe? Am I am I supposed to call that out at the middle of the video? I don't know. Probably. But that's okay. <clears throat> nightmares whenever you have a nightmare it's usually a dream that's gone bad but when you have a nightmare and you enjoy it is it really a nightmare or is that just called a dream just saying anything that's not a dream is usually a nightmare or nothing we dream sometimes, and I dreamt that uh, our parakeets were actually trained, and I got them to sit on my finger. That was pretty cool. I, I like dreams like that. But then, I'm so mad when I wake up, and I'm like, dang it, they're not actually trained. They just squawk a lot. What am I doing? I'm not selling these off. I need one by ones. Treason. Betrayal. I need, uh, I need a one by two and a one by one. There we go. One by two and one by one. One by two and one by one. I wonder if one of these contains 25 bricks. 25 single units. Let's see. Let's find out, shall we? One, two, three. No, it does not. There's no way I'm getting 25 out of that. Oh, uh, let's go over here. These are probably, are these big enough? Yeah, they're good. I should be cutting them to squares on the side, not on the top. There we go, that's what we want. See how it just just falls into place. 
This is your world, you're the creator Find freedom on this base Believe that you can do it Cause you can do it I believe, I believe Every day's a good day in lumber I believe, I believe It'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart I believe, I believe Every day's a good day in lumber. I don't know. I was singing. That's a Bob Ross song. Every day is a good day when you paint. Uh oh, 93. That's okay. There we go. We don't make mistakes. We make some happy accidents. And drop it down like that. Drop it like it's all. And drop it in like that. Drop a look at hot. Boom. I bet Defaultio had to set that to like zero friction on the inside of the uh, the sawmill, didn't he? It's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, no! Dang it. Got too close. It was too close, too close, too close to blueprints. Gotta run for shelter. Gotta run for shade. Wait, how many do we have? Uh, five times three, five, ten, fifteen, sixteen. We got sixteen left. How many pieces of uh, wood do we have here? Let's try and make it an even number, or a, a perfect number. So there's 15. I'll just keep going until I get down to the last row. So I haven't heard any ideas in the comments of like what I should build this base into. Should it be a showcase base? Should I uh, build a house off of it? You guys want me to do like some scenery? Maybe a forest? I don't, oh, I don't know what to do. Leave me a comment down below. Give me suggestions and ideas of what to turn this base into. And if you already have and I didn't see it, I do apologize. There's a lot of comments. I don't think this is going to be big enough. I think it's going to be just short. Yep. That's okay. We'll finish it off right there. And how many more do we have? Get a couple more. A couple more. Man, I really am tired. I'm just, whew. Okay, so we need six. Can I make six more? One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll work. It's gonna be a perfect amount. We're not gonna have any birch left. Left birch wood. I don't know how, does whistling sound bad into the microphone? I mean, it sounds okay. I've probably got like half the comments. Go, stop! Hey, we're done! Hey, there we go. So we've got the uh, four kinds of trees that are over here on the mainland. Uh, with the exception of the end times, which is down in the end times biome, and the lava wood, which is up on top of the uh, volcano, and the ice wood, and the pine trees, and the other one that's over there. But I'm going to call it. Go get some sleep. 
So thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. And I hope you learned something along the way. I hope I was entertaining enough. Uh, I hope that you stick around for more videos. But I know that like life goes on and people grow up and tastes change. So if you're new to the channel, comment down below, I'm new. And I mean like with, within this year, within 2020. Uh, oh, I guess that's within 2020 and 2021. If you just became a fan this year, I want to hear from you. If you're an old school fan from 2014, write the year that you, you started watching me, 2014. Um, and just have fun with it. I love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.